Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brian Petovich here. We've got a big storm on the way for Tuesday, and it's a day we want you to stay weather aware because the dangerous wind conditions that we could see, even outside of thunderstorms, we could see wind gusts to maybe 50 or 60 miles per hour. I'll break it down. There is a severe weather risk, but it's more the wind risk that I think we're all concerned about right now. So let's get right to the details. I'm going to start with the, the guidance first. We'll go with the future cast here. So we're going into tomorrow morning. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. The first thing I'm going to show you is the day one severe weather outlook. You can see that's today. But for tomorrow, that severe weather outlook, notice what's going on along the Gulf Coast here. You see the low, medium, higher risk for severe storms. I'll go through tomorrow afternoon. And you can see why that risk exists. Look at that line of storms that develops. And especially along the Gulf Coast, where we have that rich, deep moisture. We could see supercells develop during the day tomorrow into tomorrow night in particular. Now, day three, which is going to be Tuesday, that risk then shifts to the Carolinas. You can see, I'll back this up a little bit. We've got a low to medium, even high risk along the Florida Panhandle. But look at the high uh, risk down towards Dotham, Tallahassee, but the low to medium risk. Now, severe weather is just part of this. Trust me, there's going to be some severe weather, but the winds with this whole system are going to be no joke. This system pushes to the east. Look at this squall line. This looks like something out of the spring, not January, but it goes to show you what happens when you have a winter jet stream and really warm air surging in from what is record-breaking warm waters over the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. It really sets the stage for just a potent system. So this is Tuesday morning, likely going to be pouring rain in the Carolinas all day long. But it's this line ahead of that. We're expecting a line of very strong thunderstorms. And again, even outside of the storms, really strong, what we call low-level jet is going to be plowing in here. So that will produce very strong winds that will mix down to the surface as that front arrives. So this will be Tuesday evening. So if you're looking for the worst weather Tuesday, again, a lot of I ask uh, a lot of questions about the timing. It's really Tuesday evening, late afternoon, earliest, but most likely Tuesday evening into Tuesday night. And look at that line moving across the area. Whoops, kind of jumped the gun there a little bit. We'll go a little bit slower. 11 o'clock, 12 a.m. This is Wednesday morning. And then look at that thing racing off to the east. So that is a monster storm that will be pushing through. Now, the concern for us is obviously a lot of wind, a lot of rain, thunderstorms. You combine high winds and a lot of rain, you tend to see the potential for flash flooding. So let's take a look at that risk. So this is the day three flash flood guidance. So the green area is the low risk for flash flooding, but the, the yellow area is contouring where we're going to expect the medium risk for flash flooding. So that's most of our area. So most of the Carolinas will see a risk of flash flooding. And then you throw in these horrible winds. Then you're going to see the risk for trees coming down. So let's take a look at some of these wind speeds. So just to give an idea of the kind of range of possibilities of winds here, this is the, our NAM 6 model, uh, the three kilometer, excuse me, I'm going out to 60 hours. You can see the, the winds calm down tomorrow, most of the day, then late tomorrow night into early Tuesday. Not much. Winds gusting, maybe 20, 30 miles per hour. But look at this line. That's the line of storms. And look at the winds ahead of it. And again, notice it's even outside of the thunderstorms. So this is what we talk about with winds even outside of the thunderstorm. Let me go back and kind of show you that again. In this area in particular. So let's go a little bit further right here. I'm going to pause this basically Tuesday afternoon into the evening hours. So I'm going to grab my cursor here and you can see now the line of storms is right here, but look at the winds even ahead of it. 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds. Now along there, you see some gusts to 60. I mean, 57 in Charlotte. Now these are gusts, not sustained by the way, but that that is incredible to see that wind. And notice from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So this will be a very dynamic system producing damaging winds possibly over a large area. Folks, this is the kind of stuff that brings trees and power lines down, especially if it's raining all day, saturating the soils. That sets the stage for significant power outages. So I just would plan for Tuesday into Wednesday, very high likelihood we're going to see power outages. Can't tell you exactly where, because it's going to depend on where the highest gusts and the trees are and the power lines. Those are things that you, know, you can't really dictate. But I will tell you for sure, there's going to be power outages and maybe widespread outages. Um, but that is a nasty line that moves through the wind. I mean, that is ridiculous. Look at these winds offshore, 90 mile an hour winds over the water. That is going to be crazy. So you're going to see just a wild system moving across the Carolinas. Now, on top of that, we mentioned the severe weather risk. Let me show you the tornado parameter, the significant tornado parameter for Tuesday. So we'll go into Tuesday evening. I'm going to stop it right about there. I'll back it up one hour. Look at some of these numbers, especially down towards the Grand Strand. So um, in Charlotte, we might get lucky, but I think down towards 
uh, the PD area down towards the Grand Strand and out towards Wilmington, you know, Cape Fear area. That's where we could definitely see a couple supercells and then maybe into eastern North Carolina. So that's a whole nother risk to kind of keep an eye on. Um, I, I would just tell you right now, it is a day we want you to stay weather aware for severe weather, damaging straight line winds for everybody and flash flooding. Those are our three risks. But the wind threat to me primarily, that way, that's what has my attention right now. So I would go ahead right now and plan on the potential for outages, trees coming down, secure loose things all in your yard, around your house. If you have things that are susceptible to blowing around, make sure you have them secured. And right now, think about charging everything up for Tuesday into Tuesday night. Get those battery backups ready to go because I do think there's a very good chance we're going to see widespread power outages. Of course, I will do an updated vlog tomorrow morning and we'll have updates throughout the day as we get you ready for Tuesday. But again, it's a day we want you to stay weather aware.